Hello, I'm James Randi. In the year 2010, it astonishes me that people still believe in fortune tellers who use tarot cards, for example, to tell what the future might hold. Over the decades in which I've been investigating paranormal and psychic claims, I have on occasion visited spiritualists, fortune tellers, and psychics just to see what, if anything, they could tell me about what was to come. In most of these encounters, I've disguised my appearance in various ways to see if the answers would change depending on what I wore, how I positioned my body, or what tone of voice I used. We're about to show you a video of one of these undercover readings. In 1981, I went with a film crew to record a tarot card reading from a local gypsy in New York City. I rented a small room in a hotel and my assistant told the gypsy that we were shooting a documentary about the accuracy of fortune telling. Now seeing an obvious opportunity to promote herself, the young lady happily agreed. In order to have a truly random test, I hired some extras who would come in and get a reading before and after I did. In order to keep this video somewhat short, I'm only going to show you the reading that I received as Adam Gerson, that's A-D-A-M-J-E-R-S-I-N, a very shy, red-headed man in his 60s. Adam Gerson, by the way, is an anagram for James Randi. I want you to pay very close attention to what the fortune teller says at first, and then watch as I start by asking simple questions, but then get into more detail you'll see how she takes my questions and uses them to her advantage, or so it seems. How are you? What is your name? Adam. Adam. All right, Adam. You want to shuffle the cards and make a wish to yourself and make four piles. I'm too good at this. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Make uh, four piles. What pile do you want to pick from these? This one. Okay. <clears throat> Did you make your wish? Um. Yes. present, it shows that uh, you would like to gain happiness, you would like to gain peace. It shows that there's a woman in your life that you that you lost in the past. Hmm. Now it also shows that uh, there's another woman in your life in the present that see people are against it, people are against you and her. See, they're against your happiness together. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it shows that uh, that you're a very successful man, and that you're a very prosperous man. You're prosperous in what you wanted to do. And in certain things, you're even more successful than you planned. But it shows that you're not happy, that you're not content, because you don't have true happiness in your life. Now, it shows that you're searching for that right woman to know if she's going to care for you, love you, respect you, no matter what. 
but it shows see that the one the woman in the present has changed towards you see because you changed now like I say there is people against your happiness with this woman in the present but it shows that uh, these people are not against it because of your differences but because there's jealous people for you, jealous in your work, jealous in your... The woman you said I, I lost, uh, lost, um, I mean, uh, do you mean that she died? So, no, 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 it's not a death, but it's, uh, huh. let's say it's just uh, a separation huh. from each other. Now it shows that, see, in your heart right now, see, you're always thinking of her, even though you're, mm. you're trying to be happy with the one in the present. But it shows also that she's thinking of you. See, it shows that she's involved with somebody else that's younger. But it shows that uh, the involvement uh, she's She's in now is not, uh, she's not content, she's not happy. She's involved? Yes, it shows she's involved with somebody younger than her, but it shows that she's not happy, she's not content. Now it shows here a dark child. Uh, now this means that uh, there is someone close to you that uh, you would like to help. And it shows that... Uh, Is that a child, uh, I mean, or just a younger person? Well, it could be a child or a younger person, but, uh, mm. you know, for someone that you're thinking of now is the person. We thank you for watching this latest episode of James Randi Speaks. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.